Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am super excited. Today, we're going to be talking to Sarah's Happy Bees. Um, I know in the past, we've um, talked to other beekeepers as well. Let me put a banner in here for the people coming in. Let me see. I want to know, as the people are coming in, if they also own any bees as well. Uh-oh. There we go. So we can hear from people who also are beekeepers as well. Now the people now Sarah back here. I was reading on her about section, and she is a bee. Uh, what does it say? Oh, there it is. Okay, it said that she uh, it's a hobby, a hobbyist beekeeper. Did I say that right? Okay, <laughs> since 2019. So, yeah, without further ado, let me bring her up to the stage because I had her backstage for quite a while now. So let's introduce <laughs> Sarah's Happy Bees. Happy Hives. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I am great. Uh, so sorry I messed up your name. I am. I apologize. I am. I'm. I'm horrible with names, so I understand. I can, I remember a face like a bee. I'll, bees recognize faces. Really? <laughs> and then I will forget a name, and then I get embarrassed because I've forgotten names. But I do, I am working on it this year. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, let's see. Tell us about yourself and your channel. Well, I really wasn't trying to be a YouTuber, but somehow here I am. <laughs> <laughs> I um, <clears throat> I have a website, sarahshappyhives.com, and I wanted a way to put videos on the website. And since YouTube is a sharing site, we thought I would just put, you know, share videos for the website through YouTube. And then I found a bunch of people to chat with and... <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you got stuck in here now. You found all of us. I'm here now. And I'm trying to see. I'm I don't have the YouTube part open. I've only got the stream yard on my screen. And I'm very um I guess amateur when it comes to technology. My husband does most of this. And if okay. he's probably watching. <laughs> everybody say hi Steven. Hi Steven. <laughs> Do you see on the top uh, where, on your stream yard where it says comments? So you yes. can see the comments as well? I can see all the comments. Awesome. Okay. I can type, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I do um, have a feature. Well, like I have people like in the audience that they have any kind of questions about the bees or hives or anything like that. Feel free to okay. ask. How so much time do we have? Because... Time seems to lose all of its meaning when we start talking about bees. Oh, okay. So usually Aunt Dale, I call her Aunt Dale, Aunt Dale Homestead goes live at 11. Okay. So I try to like pass the mic to her and let her. Uh... We got time. I hope you don't mind. I brought my coffee instead of tea. I know this is the tea. My type of lady. <laughs> So, okay, I don't know where to begin because I know in the other live that you came into, oh, look, I'm so excited. I didn't even say hi to anybody in the comments section. We got to, you got to do that first then. Shout them all out. Come on. Okay. Let's see here. We have, let me go scroll up to the top. We have Anne Marie and Sarah's Happy Hives. Hi. <laughs> uh, she's in here. Deborah Garrett. Good morning. Uh, yes, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming in to join us. We got I recognize a lot of these names from Black's Tropical Homestead, mm -hmm. um, Lady Led, oh. and another one. Well, yours too. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of uh, the homesteaders. I'm surprised I have homesteaders. I, I just recently started gardening, like last, well, this last summer. Good, good. So, you know, it's a start. Uh, Sammy Joe's all the way in Nova Scotia. Tuber Chat. You familiar with Tuber Chat? Yes, I um, found Tuber Chat through Sherry, Black's mm -hmm. Tropical Homestead. And then I met um, Susan at Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. And she's encouraged me to get on. I was on her live. Oh. 
and of course i can't forget about kodiak farm lee and walker b ranch bob they got me started on this whole thing too <laughs> well you're familiar with everybody <laughs> Because somebody, like one of your subscribers was like, you was on Black Tropical and it was like, oh, you have to uh, speak with Sam's Happy Highs. Cause <laughs> and I'm just, I'm curious if it was Sherry. No, it was a lady by the name of She is Sunshine. Oh, She is Sunshine. Okay. Yeah. We I met a, her. At, yep. Let me see. I'm trying to think. We have, uh, we have Jag's Farm. Well, thank you, She is Sunshine, for bringing yeah. this little meeting together. This is awesome. We have a couple people in here who <laughs> also uh, have bees. I've actually received some of their honey, and everybody's honey tastes different. It's different, yes, it, because <laughs> of the location, 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 location. <laughs> I'm so interested. I want to know. I have so many questions. Let me think. Okay. Bronze, bronze Flat Power God. Um, jewelry Spot. I say everybody. Uh, Grammy's here. Is that Grammy Lisa? Uh, let me see. Let me scroll back. Grammy. Oh, Journal. Grammy's Journal. Okay, Grammy Lisa. She's um one of my good friends. She's a beekeeper and nurse, and <laughs> she's in the chat with a lot of people. I see her. <laughs> there she is, sunshine. Hey, she is sunshine. There we go. And we have official change. She said, um, Miss T with the T was buying dollar store honey. We had to say, yes, we had to save her. Yeah, I haven't bought uh, Dollar Tree honey because like all the people who come here, like there's a lot of beekeepers here in the community. I did That's not know good. that. There I didn't are... even know that was a thing. I thought you had to like be on a farm, farm. Like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a city girl. You can have bees. <laughs> There are so many urban beekeepers that mm -hmm. have bees in the city and they find, I mean, bees are designed to go out and look for it and that's what they do and they'll find it. Oh. Even if it's pop cans in the trash. <laughs> I, I never knew this world even existed. How did the homesteading community find me as a mystery? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I was thinking about, hady, I don't think I found beekeeping. I think beekeeping found me. Really? Because, and I think and where it all you? started for me, the spring of 2018, I believe it was, I made dandelion jelly. Has anybody ever made dandelion jelly? Never heard of that either. Oh, it is, it tastes just like honey. Huh. You pick the petals and it's a very tedious process because you have to get all the yellow petals, all the green bits are bitter. Hmm get all the yellow petals and then you steep it like a tea and then you add sugar and cook it and then can it and it tastes like honey so how about how many dandelions would you have to pick thousands wow <laughs> we did it too <laughs> and i'm i told my husband you know i'm fighting these bees for dandelions isn't there any way i can just keep them myself and collect their honey okay. <laughs> and, and now here we are i have 24 healthy colonies they're all clustered up for winter. Bees cluster in their box together with the queen. See, they don't hibernate or anything. <laughs> now, I'm glad you brought up the queen because I was watching your videos and you like you're good at like spotting on the queen. How can you tell for a beginner like myself? <laughs> well, there's there's a yeah. book for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's called Queen Spotting. Let me zoom that in. OK, there we go. Queen spotting. And she has done a beautiful job. The pages come out just like a frame of bees. Wow. Okay. And then you can try to look for the queen in the pictures. And then there's a lot of beekeepers share their tips and tricks. And I try to take notes and write, you know. But when you have a frame... And I should have brought a frame for, <laughs> if you tied my hands together, I probably wouldn't be able to communicate. <laughs> but if you tilt the frame at an angle and look down at the beads, you can, she moves a little different than the rest of them do. And you can kind of spot her. Is she That's a little bigger? She's, her, her rear end is bigger. <laughs> okay. Uh, Soul sister who also... As a bee colony, she said, do you sell and ship 
nukes. Is that, am I saying that right? Nukes? I don't, I haven't gotten into the selling of nukes yet, but that may occur this year. <laughs> okay. Now, what are nukes? Am I, am I saying it right? Nukes? Yep, a nucleus colony shortened up nuke. Okay. Yep, you got the lingo going. <laughs> <laughs> you could totally miss T the beekeeper. Yes. Wow. I can see it now. Miss T with the bees. Miss T with the bees. Y'all just love changing my name. <laughs> Uh, let me see. So I know when we was on the, you know, I was talking to uh, Rich New Design on the other live stream. You was telling me about cream honey, crystallized yes. honey, all types of honey. And I was like, wow, please explain, please. I brought two jars of honey and I got my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Creamed honey. And this okay. is your jar, Miss T. Oh, I'm going to give you. this to you. And I got one to give away to somebody who's here today <laughs> okay so okay what's regular honey what's the difference between it and regular? when when regular honey and it will crystallize at some point it's just occurring in nature is what it does when it crystallizes you make the crystals really small and fine because crystallized honey is kind of rough texture the crystals mm -hmm. are big but you can take a mortar and pestle or a food processor. And I've been trying to get a video together about this. I have a bunch of footage and I just have to get familiar with the software to get it all together. Okay. I've been trying and falling off my brain. <laughs> <coughs> I think we have your friend in here, Horizontal Bees. Hey, Horizontal <laughs> Bees, that's Ricky. Oh, nice okay. to see Ricky is in North Carolina and he makes the most awesome horizontal hives to hold bees. He's him and his wife, Ruth. So much to learn. Okay. There I'm sorry is. to interrupt. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited too because I found out I'm looking. You were checking me out. I was checking you out. I said, she's in Indianapolis. That's an hour away from me. Ooh. <laughs> you might see us guys again uh, doing tea or somewhere. Or, I don't know. <laughs> well, and my plan is I'd like to deliver your honey instead of mail it. And oh, then no. and we can make that a thing, too. I mean, you know, we got some things going. Okay. This like is it. the, you know. I've been scared to do this. And here I am doing this <laughs> y'all yeah how many live streams have you been on you said blacks tropical and uh some oh no ones. i've been on um hillbilly chicken ranch with susan uh walker b ranch and i'm trying to think did i pop on somebody else's i think that's it <laughs> i've tried to take some notes here i know i've there's a lot of YouTube beekeepers that have influenced me and I'm very grateful that they stepped out of their comfort zone to do videos mm. because mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know I couldn't do this by myself. I mean, I've read, I got a lot of books here that I, this is my favorite one. The A, B, C, and X, Y, Z of B culture. Oh, wow. AI root, B light. There's a lot of, it's old but good information. Hmm. You have a lot of books. Let me see. So, okay, I didn't mean to interrupt. So, like, what, what's the process of creaming honey? What is creamed honey used for? Creamed honey is, like, spreadable after it's crystallized. And then you take the crystallized honey, which we call seed honey. And you mix it with regular honey that gives you kind of more honey and then it grows its crystals so okay. it'll set up and be kind of like butter when it's room temperature hmm. i like it on fresh apples hmm. and toast of course <laughs> <laughs> but i've never I, had an apple with honey before oh try it it is <laughs> it is so good okay uh, i will and i like fresh strawberries you take your honey and you put it on fresh strawberries you feel like you're eating a meal you can't afford <laughs> it feels like i've just been depriving honey <laughs> when you try I'm, this is oh look bobby's bee 
the one and only legend Sarah's. Oh, you are so dear to my heart. <laughs> we got anybody in here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before I know better, uh, I threw out a whole bottle of honey that had crystallized because I thought it went bad. Oh no, it it can't go bad. I mean. <laughs> creamed honey and whipped honey and spun honey it's all kind of the same thing i think whipped honey just has some air in it mm. creamed okay. honey is just it's controlled crystallization of the small crystals in the honey and okay. then it's just an amazing confection after that morning cart runneth over and kenneth i'm, tr I'm trying to greet everybody and then just not steal the spotlight and ask all the questions uh I missed the beginning. I'll rewatch. Okay, yeah, we're, we're kind of new. We're not too far behind. 15 minutes in. And welcome, Bobby's Bees, the one and only legend, Sarah. <laughs> now, that's the first time anybody's called me a legend. Really? <laughs> I'm blushing. Can you tell? <laughs> so you've been doing this since 2018? I started studying in 2018. Um, hey, Jay. I got the Beekeeper's Bible. Not the Bible. Now, wait a minute. Let's see this Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I started reading this. Well, and it's it's kind of hard to talk about. In 2018, my sister was killed. She was a postal worker in her truck. It was in March. And it was a snowy morning. Her truck was parked in such a way where it started sliding and it pinned her. And there was, that was it. She's gone. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry to hear that. And that was five years, you know, 2018. And then my mom was sick and she passed away in Labor Day, 2018. Oh, wow. But all the while, this <laughs> is I, 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 I dove into it. <laughs> I just, devoured it, all the information that I could. And then I found the meetings. My husband bought me the hive that Christmas, mm. bought me the beehives. If you go to my community section, I added a little movie clip from Cabin in the Woods where a woman gets thrown into the water. That's kind of what my husband did. He ordered the bees, got me the hive. I said, oh, cool. I can still study for a while. Oh, no, no, we're doing it. <laughs> we're going to put So I think that was the best thing that he could have done because handling those bees, being around them, smelling them, being stung, all of that experience makes me love them more and I can't quit. <laughs> mm, that's awesome. Yeah, I am so sorry to hear that both in one year. Wow. Well, and it was throughout the very beginning, the 2019 through 2022, I was taking care of my father. He had a stroke after my mom passed hmm. and he was my biggest, my biggest cheerleader. He, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Even though he was sick, he, he kept encouraging me to go and do it. Oh, so beautiful. I'm sorry. You're going to make me get out teary eyed. I'm sorry. Well, let's get back. Okay. To the good stuff. <laughs> okay. Because after that, I found the meetings. The first meeting that I found was Brown County 10 o'clock Beeline Group. And they're awesome people. They um, encouraged me a lot, too. That's the first place I took my observation hive with bees in it. And then the Bartholomew County beekeepers, their group of people too, um, January 2020, I helped them do a presentation in the Bartholomew County Public Library. Okay. Oh, wow. Let me zoom in some more. I'm to, we'll just keep you zoomed. <laughs> you can see us there. Yes. Whoops. I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> But that was, that helped me to break off the fear, this fear, getting in front of people, even mm -hmm. though I was heckled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a tools presentation and somebody asked me, 
if you could use a paint scraper instead of a hive tool? And I said, I don't think so. <laughs> this is my brand new hive tool I got this year. That's okay. it. Wow. I'm so excited to start using this. <laughs> wow. Let me see. Horizontal Bees is helping out in the community. This uh, Just heat the crystallized honey back up and it is good to eat again. That's right. It'll turn right back into liquid if you warm it up. Ah, good to know. Uh, Gunline Bees, all the bee community is here. Hey, Gunline is Tim and yeah. Hannah. Yes, they have a fellowship every Sunday where we talk about Jesus and bees. Oh, wow. Praise the Lord. <laughs> wow, you know a lot of communities. Yes. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so we talked about the creamed honey and the whipped and uh, the crystallized. Okay. What I sold all my honey. Oh, and I do have. When my channel reaches a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be giving away my gold honey. Wow. Now, what's the process of that honey? How is it different from regular honey? I just added some fancy gold flakes to it. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, and let me show you. <clears throat> Comb honey. Okay. This is what this is a Ross round comb, honey, from Bruce's Bees in Dothan, Alabama. He he has a lot of bees. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you keep up with twenty four? You said twenty four colonies. Well, I guess it would be like um, asking a mom with a lot of children how she keeps up with them. She just does it. <laughs> I, I mean, I love it so much. Every time I open one of my beehives, I feel better physically, mentally, spiritually. Mm. It's something I, I feel like I can't explain in words or get on video, but I want to share it. And I feel like I can't keep it unless I do share it. And I, I talk about bees with pretty much everybody I come in contact with. <laughs> Let me see. Everybody's saying sorry for your loss. Oh, um, thank you, everybody. I've yeah. I've been grieving and and going through it. I've had a lot of ugly cries down the wall, but I'm here. I'm strong, and I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am like that. Like I say, I never known anything about the bee community. So, like, where do you start off? Your husband just went off and bought some bees and was like okay let's get started he ordered a package of bees from mountain sweet honey in georgia a package is basically a queen and a bunch of workers maybe a few drones in there but oh, it's kind drones. of it's um i'm trying to say it in a simple way <laughs> if you know what a swarm is it's just a packaged up swarm basically Okay. And then you add that, you put that into a hive body and then pray they do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> what have I working on? Is that for me? I'm sorry. Oh no, um horizontal B said what did what did you have her working on? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand either. Okay. Maybe he's talking to somebody in the what chat. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I was just I'm gonna... trying to follow chat. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been <laughs> I've been trying to think, you know, oh my gosh, because there's so much to talk about. There really is. I know, I know. I see uh Jake's farm, he has a bee colony and as well as soil sister as well. Uh so they've been like uh I've tried their honey, it's awesome. At She is Sunshine says, it sounds like the bees helped you with your grieving process. Absolutely. Absolutely. You don't know. <laughs> I told my bees everything. Okay. So, uh, Soul Sisters is in New York, and she's like, how do you winterize your hives? Well, I'm in Columbus, Indiana. So <laughs> I forget what garden zone. I got a farmer's almanac. <laughs> <laughs> I can. It's like when you look at your watch to see the time, 
and then you put the watch away and look up and forget what time you looked at. My brain is like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, Michael. He says, hi, Sarah. Hi, Michelle. Is that Michelle? Is it Michelle or Michael? Oh. Okay. I hope one of us said it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am in region six, the lower lakes. <clears throat> And I do get freezing temperatures. And sometimes I would wrap my hives with tar paper. I mean, I'll, different beekeepers in different areas, they, they're going to do different things. That's just how we do. Right. <laughs> but I found out I don't have to wrap my hives because I had one that I didn't wrap last year and it made it through winter. And it oh. came out and made probably the best honey I've ever had. <laughs> Welcome in, G Mama grows hard in the garden. Hello, Hello. everybody coming in. <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so you said we'll talk about winter rising the highs. Okay. Let's see, make sure I didn't miss any other questions. Scorpion slot, welcome in. Uh, don't have Hannah talking about Ruth, or we will be working on our bathroom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Keith at Larrymore Farms. You have a lot of friends. That's like awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome. They are so dear to my heart. That's why I say that in my videos, my viewers that come along. And I, I think the last time I looked at my subscriber count was 398, which is awesome. It is. And I never imagined when I because I started YouTube as kind of a lurker you know go in the chats I think it was Cayman Reynolds um, is one of the first chats that I went in and just kind of watched everybody and the way he explains he's in Tennessee by the way Cayman Reynolds <laughs> let me see let me see everybody saying hi to everybody Yes, you can do it. Okay, I, you know, maybe one day I will start a little bee colony or something. <laughs> I'll be right here to help you, encourage you. I, I can. We're, we're close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just found out like right before we went live. She was like, "Hey, I'm an hour away. Let's shut the front door." We're in the same state. We're Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, Karen. Let's see, humble beekeeper that is. That's in it for the love of bees. Okay. That's right, Bobby's bee. That's right. This chat, I apologize. The chat is just flowing. It's, it's going off like popcorn. <laughs> That's what we want. Yes. Yeah, off like popcorn. Let how many see. How many do we have in here? 45. 45. Everybody hit the like for Miss T now. <laughs> Sounds like the bee. Oh. oh, yeah, we did read that. Grieving process. Welcome in, Reverend Terminator. J. Jordan's things like a B. If you guys have any type of questions, feel free. I to just saw one. Hey, um, <laughs> the wax, how the wax is made. Okay. This is fun because the bees have glands that they secrete the wax and it hardens on their body. And they take those little scales of wax off and they form them and build their comb with. Mm, okay. Um, it's like it, when, when the children come up to see the bees when I'm out different places, um, I'll tell them, can you imagine just being able to grow the building materials and pick it off yourself and build your house with it? That's, you know, that's kind of what they do. Amazing, right. Uh, Kenneth wants to know, how long does bees stay alive generally? The worker bees, their lifespan is very short, about six weeks. But the queen bee can live up to six years. Mm. Whether she can continue to lay enough eggs for the next generation, that usually lasts about two to three years, wow. depending on. So the queen outla outlives everybody pretty the, much. The queen yeah. is <laughs> the, she has, that's why her royal jelly is so coveted because she's the longevity. She's the. <laughs> 
When arising hives, do you feed them to help the bees when there's uh, less flowers and such? I do put um, emergency feed on as in the form of a, like a sugar brick. Mm -hmm. Some people do. Um, there are so many different ways <laughs> that beekeepers do it. There's, I mean, you can buy things to um, put in your colonies, but I just regular old sugar bricks. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't even eat them. They'll just throw them out like trash. Hmm. You would think all the trouble that we go to to make sure they have nice boxes, they would be appreciative. <laughs> and that's what they just toss them. <laughs> they do. I've seen it. <laughs> I appreciate everybody in the chat flowing with these questions. Um, I'm so glad to see everybody this morning. <laughs> Welcome in, Miss Charlie. My granddaughter and I were discussing honey cane. Is uh, the wax separate piece, a separate piece? The the wax is, whoops. You're on, I got caught on. <laughs> I never knew like all these kind of like wax. I don't know. Where have I been? Who knows? <laughs> okay. Let me get a good, you see, that's all capped over. <laughs> the individual okay. cells are the wax. And then they put the honey in the cell. Okay. So that's wax. Yep. That's that's wax in there. The comb is wax. I feel like I'm in school and I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I learned wax today. I learned yes. crystallization. It's still good, honey. It's still good if it's crystallized. Just got to warm it up and get it back to the liquid state. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Reverend all up on Jay Jordan. Let me see. Good morning. Good morning. Damn it. Did I miss anybody? Sub to your channel. Yeah, she's almost there at 400. Thank you so much, Mac. Oh, Mac thank you, Happy Mac. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you. Please continue with the questions. Sarah, Sandra's living a full life. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, good morning, Jacket. Can't be with Alvin, everyone. Okay. <clears throat> Reverend Terminator, good morning. Good morning. It's Karen Sawyer. Yes, she does wear the gear. Have a good day, Keith at Laramore Farms. I think he said he was leaving. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess Karen Sawyer wants to know, like, all the, the gear that you put on to go out to the colonies. I came prepared. <laughs> Rambo. This is the first veil that I had. I still have to fix it. It. It got some holes in it. And this is the one that I was gluing. Mm -hmm. This is the one my friend Frank at Galloway Lights. He keeps saying, I need to see more of this. Well, here you go, Frank. <laughs> here you go, Frank. <laughs> but this, the veil, keeps them from stinging your face. So this is the, I've not been stung in the face yet. But I'm sure it's going to happen sometime. <laughs> I do get stung. Um <laughs> I'm not allergic yet. I understand that that could happen. I do have an EpiPen at the pharmacy when I can afford to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. And um, I wear gloves. I don't, I didn't bring my gloves. So I guess I wasn't that prepared. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, Granny's midwife? There she is. There's my friend, Lisa. <laughs> she's in Alabama. Oh, okay. And she's a homesteader too. She, um, I watched the videos of her baking bread in her kitchen. <laughs> I am so amazed by all the stuff I see people make, like from the garden stuff. I was watching Black Tropical. She made Rice Krispie treats. <clears throat> <clears throat> I was watching the one where she was making milk or cheese out of milk and vinegar. I said, <laughs> "What? Are you kidding?" I, I mean, gotta try it. <laughs> uh, yeah, OG, Miss Shirley, the OG Gardener is an official great grandma. She's holding the baby. Oh, congratulations. What a blessing. Mm -hmm. They are such blessings. I have eight of them. Uh, how they got? Not great ones, just grands. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, curious how they got the 24 hides and how long it took to get them. Yes, you can get stung with the suit on. I've it's happened to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was looking at the well, comment and I had to say. <laughs> but it's I it comes with the territory. You know, so, and sometimes you get stuck most of the time it's been my fault. Something that I've done. Either I drop a frame or I go in too quick. It's it's important to stay slow and steady remember jesus walked everywhere he went mm -hmm. he did not run he was never in a hurry so what would jesus do he would walk be slow <laughs> <laughs> good answer be the tree <laughs> big booster wants to know how much would it cost for a box typically a box yeah. I, I mean there are different prices for different boxes but i think the ones that I get from maybe and Castle Hives or good beginner boxes, about 150 mm. for per high. It, and it also depends if you want a 10 frame or an eight frame. I think actually the eight frames were more than the 10 frames last year. Okay. Or was it vice versa? <laughs> Welcome in, Tim, sneaking at work. <clears throat> Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I only got caught up to all the questions. Oh, we still we still have plenty. We have a whole another hour. Yes, we can we can talk about. Um... Oh, show us the tool again. Like, uh, what all the the sides and everything? What is all that used for? Well, this one, I believe, it's got a little. Uh oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, this is to like pick up um get in there and pick up a frame okay. or you can use it with this i should have had a little example mm -hmm. but um this you can go get in between the boxes okay and then pry them open so you can lift a box off and look inside awesome awesome Thank you. They said it looks like a weapon. <laughs> it does. I know, right? <laughs> does anybody watch the show Snowpiercer? No. Are you familiar with that? I'm not. It, well, there was a girl on that show that used a, a hive tool as a weapon. So it, it is. I mean, oh, wow. What's, what's the name of that movie again? I've watched oh, it. the show is called Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. It's about like the the snow the world going cold so everybody's stuck on a train it's like yeah, you'd have to watch it say <laughs> <laughs> so how do you deal with the mites um the the varroa mites i use oxalic acid treatments and that's a whole other we just opened up a big can of worms from the beekeeping community <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, Grammy, she got like 10 hive tools from the, and that was the, one of the biggest conventions of the year, the national, what is it called? Uh, Honeybee Expo. Oh, that's that was beautiful. just this last weekend. It was in Louisville, Kentucky, and I couldn't go. Oh. But I think maybe next year. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> I am. Let me take this down. Sorry, so we can check everybody's names out. There we go. I'm Miss T with the T. <laughs> and I'm Sarah with the Happy Hives. <laughs> um, uh, oh, uh, she is Sunshine said she saw that show. Oh, then you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, and Soil Sister. Well, and it, did anybody watch Grimm? No, I really there is a there's a I think it's the third episode in the first season of Grimm. There's a beekeeper. Mm. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, Big Rooster said, "Have you ever had hornets raid a hive?" Yes, mm. and it's the the helpless. Oh, Grammy Lisa just subbed to you, Miss T. Oh, thank you so much. 
<laughs> we can get a little crazy over here. <laughs> hey, she's Born. no stranger to crazy at, at the No Life Beekeepers. <laughs> We get a little crazy too. <laughs> uh, I can't make out the little identification box in the corner. Yeah, I am missing. If somebody could please drop my link in there so other people can, uh, from yes. her channel, can connect and feel free to drop your channel and everybody connect. Yes. <laughs> We're here mingling. This is a good. And I got coffee. Yes. Uh, the YouTube streets, they have no limit on how many people you can subscribe to. <laughs> I think that's cool because I like to go subscribe to all the new beekeepers I see. Mm. Oh, sometimes I drop comments, sometimes I don't. It just depends. There's Miss Ann Dale. Oh, yeah. I love her so much. Oh, so I'm going to see Ann Dale again at the Soil Family Meet and Greet. It's all the way in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. I do you travel that far? I have not been to Savannah, Georgia yet, but there's a lot of yets in life. <laughs> I do want to see, I, I was thinking about, and I was talking with my husband about it. I said, it's just in Savannah. Come on. I want to go. <laughs> yeah. I've talked to a couple people. Uh, my family, and it was supposed to be just me and my daughter. Like we went last year. Now my sister and her daughter and my aunt is coming I'm like, okay, we're getting an Airbnb at this point. Hey, <laughs> it'll be a good time. Uh, Hello, J3GS Farm, new friend. Okay. What's the name of the documentary again? Which documentary? Yeah, I think we talked about two or three. Well, it wasn't really a documentary. It's just um, entertainment shows, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, that Snowpiercer show and then um, Grimm. It's uh, like if fairy tales were real, the Grimm is the, the one who goes and cuts them down. <laughs> Let me see. Are they on a train that's keep being running? Yeah, that train. They, because the world started freezing and so they had to be stuck on the train. Aunt Dale will be over your house in about an hour. <laughs> about an hour. <laughs> At Odom's Homestead. I hope I said that right. O D O M. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband builds hives for me. Uh, back to the bushes, but listening. And Dale says hi, to everybody. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Well, almost middle of January already. It's going quickly. Just checked out your channel, Sarah, from Kenneth Wilkinson. He's awesome. He's oh, good. thank you, Kenneth. I'm yeah. still, now it's not high production quality over there yet. Yet. <laughs> There's a <laughs> lot of yets in life, if you haven't <laughs> noticed. <laughs> so, is making the honey a super long process? How do you make sure it's okay for cons cons yeah, consummate cons consumption. <laughs> I have a I have a tool that's in the other room. It's called mm -hmm. a hygrometer, and it checks the the moisture content of the honey. And if you there's Frank, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Galloway Lights is Frank. <laughs> oh, okay. Can't I think he's way. been my biggest fan. He's the one that comments on most of my videos. <laughs> uh, Grammy, if you just simply put in the letters M S T, it will uh, Nightbot will automatically drop your link, and all forty three people. <laughs> yeah, I have Nightbot set up, so he he just says just put in MST and they'll drop it. Hello, sweet thumb. And there was a question up there that I saw. <laughs> the hive reveal. Ooh, you have a revealing coming soon. Well, um, my husband is working on a uh, horizontal hive for me, but he's still. Um, tweaking some things and I have yet to drop a video about it. <laughs> like I said, I've been having technical difficulties trying to get my brain to do what I want it to do with the software. So I had an update and then it changed and it's like that. Um, if you've ever watched a bug, a bug's life, <laughs> The ants are going along and drop a stick and I'm lost. 
I'm sorry, Grammy. I just realized you're on Sarah's channel. On to do the MST has to be on my channel. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yeah I see. I shared this. Yes. I, I I actually joined stream the the stream this morning to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling everybody just drop MST. But like, if you're on Sarah's channel, trying to drop your link with MST is not going to work. I'm sorry. Nightbot only works for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yep, you gotta go into Miss T's channel. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make you like leave and whatever. I'm sorry. And that's part of I'm still trying to figure out how to do all of this stuff too. I, I, because we got everybody in the chat, and then I'm trying to talk to you, and then mm -hmm. I'm like, gosh, do I have something hanging out of my nose? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tell you, if you have any type of questions with YouTube, I am more than happy to help you out. That's like, why I, we're going to have to have lunch. <laughs> we are. We are, most definitely. I'm so happy we're like an hour away. Yes. Like, everybody knows in like New York, Georgia, Tennessee. I'm like, gosh, why is that right so far? There's um, Passionately Intrigued Arts. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Now, yesterday, I was at, I've, this is part of the bee journey, okay? When I, I was so excited about being a beekeeper that I put a bumper sticker on my car, <laughs> beekeeper. And a lady in the, I was at the grocery store and a lady comes up and said, well, you have, you're a beekeeper, I have a field of flowers. And so she became my first host yard, which a lot of beekeepers call their out yard and host yard what is that host like you um let bees live in your yard yeah. so she has a lot of property with and she's trying to make just <laughs> wildflowers mm -hmm. and my bees have been helping her yard for the past three years well that first year her neighbor saw the bees and her husband used to keep bees and would like to so i brought my bees to their yard and the next year after that is when I started the observation hive. And so my second yard, she is, um, she has a daycare called Little Seeds. And when I brought my, my hive to her, the Little Seeds, I met my friend Jeanette. And she has a women's group where we talk about the Bible. And it's an international women's group. Okay. And since I'm learning Japanese. Wow, wait a minute now. You're, you're learning Japanese. Hi. <clears throat> okay. Yesterday was my bilingual Bible group. And they're an amazing group of women. Um, we had to say goodbye to one yesterday. She was going back to Japan. But we had a nice meal and fellowship. And it was a really good day. That's awesome. But the, I'm saying the bees... Jesus led me to the bees. The bees led me back to Jesus. Hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. My faith is is more now that I have the bees in my life. That's great. That is great. My heart. And that's why I say you're so dear to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I am so looking forward to us meeting and greeting. Oh, thanks, Mike. Mike, a Minnesota beekeeper. He's awesome. I like him. Now, wait a minute. Ed Dale was born in Japan? Ed Dale, you never discussed this with me. I, I never knew this. Oh, Ed Dale. I would love to learn the language. When, Ed Dale, we're going to have to interview you one day. Like We're all going to have to do this. Is, <laughs> oh, y'all got to stay tuned. Subscribe. Subscribe. Stay tuned because we're going to have more of these. <laughs> I have so many questions, Ed Dale, just with this little comment. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, wow. So, Aunt Dale, you were born in Japan and don't know the language. Okay. It is difficult. I am I fumble over myself. I can understand more than I can spit out. If I try to say it, I can't. <laughs> we'll see. My dad was uh, Army. Oh. And he was in Japan <laughs> for a year in 1955. Mm -hmm. Camp Wood in Kumamoto. And mm -hmm. he learned quite a lot. There's Lee, my friend Lee, Kodiak Farm Bees. He oh. is in Louisiana. 
Wow, you have a lot of bee friends. How did you find all these people? Beekeepers, just, mm -hmm. beekeepers are fun. We just we start talking about bees and we're friends, and here we are now. You and I are friends because of these bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a, a couple people in my community that were thinking about starting uh, raising. Do bees. it. Do it. <laughs> yes. I know I've seen a video of Lev Farmer. He has like a, a bee colony in his garage, I want to say. Yeah, I felt, I watched because I saw Lady Led in her pink bee suit first. <laughs> I Because when I was first starting, you know, I, I, I got to see. I got to. What do I do with it? I had so many questions and the bee clubs helped tremendously, tremendously. Mm -hmm. I recommend going visit your local bee club. I have to, I didn't go as much as I should have last year. So I need to go more this year. Oh. Uh, how do you get a long video viewed a lot? Uh, get more subscribers. Oh, this is something. Okay. Get more subscribers. Fancy keyword schedule. So tomorrow <clears throat> on the live stream, because I go on live Monday through Friday, 9.15-ish. <laughs> So tomorrow's Community Connect. We do that. I'm trying to do that every Wednesday. And okay. we, uh, everybody connects and subscribes and talks about their channels. And Well, and tomorrow and I have the dentist. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Lucky you. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I need to call my dentist because I was just thinking like yesterday. I was like, it's been a while. Like, am I due? <laughs> well, see, with me, it was a fear that kept me. It mm. was pure stubbornness. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> here i am doing it well i'm happy for you i'm happy for you uh, who is ellen who is oprah who is ricky lake <laughs> they got nothing on miss t with the t that's right that's right that is hilarious <laughs> i put a picture of yappy yappy b man he's another one and think he's in alabama Mm -hmm. I hope I got that right, but he's, he is hilarious. <laughs> William, he's sneaking at work also. Morning, Good morning happy William. To, happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Well, if bees affect so much of our culture, if you notice, it's almost like, okay, when you get a certain style car, you start noticing all the other certain style cars on the road. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like that in beekeeping. Now that I keep bees, I I can tell, see where, like uh, when you say I make a bee line, it comes from bees. <laughs> Soul Sisters with it with the questions today. What kind of predators do you have to deal with there? Uh, bears, etc. Do you protect the hive? Oh, how do you protect the hives? Well, we don't have any bears, but we have a lot of skunks that visit and raccoons. I've already had one screen bottom board been torn up by a critter, but I try to do, um, I put like carpet tacks down in front of the front of the, you got to be careful though, because my inspector stepped on them the first time. I have that video and oh, wow. it's the... Um, and her name was Kathleen Pro. She's not the Indiana State Inspector. She retired now, but she was awesome. Hmm. I learned a lot from her, and that was just one visit. You know, so uh, Soul Sister lives in the mountains in New York, and she's always sending me pictures. Well, not always, but she sends me pictures time to time of like deer and bears. And I was like, wow. Like when I think of New York, I don't think of mountains and that kind of stuff. Yeah, you think of the big city, right? Right. Let me see. Uh, really that is bad. Oh, she's a bad ass with the bees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, and <clears throat> being a beekeeper, just knowing that I can deal with a bunch of angry bees, like it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. It gives me a confidence and it, it helps me walk a little taller, you know, a little straighter. And I just love it. I love being a beekeeper. I love how you shared the story of like it helped you after your mom passed and everything. And uh, you got you go out here and you're going to these events and meeting people. You're coming on live streams now. Wow. 
I would I'm, love seeing you again in like a couple of years, how much you progressed. I'm blossoming and it's just one day at a time, just one hive at a time, one new learned thing at a time. Yeah. Welcome in Grand Rising to you, Drill. Yeah, I seen your videos, Sarah. Just do it. Uh, and I, I hope that I can be that encourager. You know, I I I really I'd like to see people and what they do in their own apiaries because it is such a special thing to gather this honey from these. Let me show you my shirt. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Respect the bees. 16 ounces of honey requires 1.152 bees. Oh, 1,152 bees to travel 122,000 miles to visit 4.5 million flowers. Wow. Do the math. Do the <laughs> There's some awesome insects. They're my bug of choice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Sunshine saying uh, bees in the gardening community go hand in hand because the bees are essential for the gardeners. Yes, when I do the Reeves Festival at the Henry Breeding Farm in Edinburgh, Indiana, I'll be there in August again. Okay. Um, the master gardeners are right next door to, we sit next to each other at the, the farm, so... Um, the master gardeners had me go to the foundation for youth here with my mm -hmm. observation hive. And I'll be doing that again this year too. See, I'm going to have to go there with you because uh, Edinburgh's like 40, 45 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> and there'll be, I, I'll, I haven't gotten the dates and the times yet, but when I do, I'll be posting on, on my website, which is Sarah's happy And also on YouTube, my community page. Okay. We had the, uh, over 3000 bees. Oh, mm, in Louisville, it was fun. Beaks. Oh, beaks beaks. Are beekeeping geeks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you for the clarification. <laughs> or just shorten for beekeeper. Beak. Oh, oh, I learned something else today. Okay, beaks. Awesome. Then, how many times are bees, honey, and wax mentioned in the Bible? At least 68 times. Hmm. It is in our. A, B, C, and X, Y, Z of B culture. Hang on, let me turn to the... <laughs> it, I, it tells you, right, how many... And I went with my Bible and found them all, and I highlighted them. <laughs> really? I <laughs> yes, I it. did. Yes, I did. Okay, so when you have your bees, uh, your hive has to get inspected by a bee agency? Yes, you, you should have it inspected by the... And it depends on which state you're in. Like I said, a lot of variables. Here in Indiana, I um, I actually met the new inspector last year. So, welcome in, Valerie. So, how often do you have to get inspected? That depends on the I beekeeper. <laughs> okay, one of those. so it's not required by the state. It's just like something. It depends on which state. In Indiana, it's um, if I want to start selling my nukes, then yes, I have to be inspected. Okay. But there, there are a lot of people that don't get inspected. They just lone wolf it, you know. They just want to be them and the bees, and I get that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put a plug in here for the hive for heroes? check it oh hive for heroes hives for heroes yes um it, you know our vets <clears throat> if if you support our country these hives for heroes help a lot of vets with their the bees just have a calming and that may seem because oh my gosh they're stinging insects well they're fascinating and when you're fascinated with the bees you're not thinking about all the crap <laughs> uh, Keisha says uh, you have a nice soothing voice just like Aunt Dale oh thank you <laughs> I hear my own voice and think oh <laughs> I know I, I think I have a raspy voice so when I started doing this I was like wow these people like listening to my raspy voice 
Here we are. <laughs> uh, I thought William was going to work. Oh, uh, Tim said he's going to work. Okay, my bad. Tim said he's going to work. William says, should a person purchase a DIY, a B stand? A DIY B stand? Well, and that's another personal preference. You, I've got stands that are just bricks, you know. Um, do it yourselfers. Just do it. Just try it. I mean, if you make a mistake, then you've learned how not to do it that way. <laughs> you know, right? Failure yeah. is just success in progress. Hmm. That's a good way to look at it. Let me see. Sweet thumb, is there a certain type or breed of col bee colony that uh, is preferred? Or and that's another, it, it varies from beekeepers. There are so many. There's, um, let me see. Russian, Italian, Carnolian, wow. Saskatraz. I know there's some I'm missing, but there are a lot of different species that you can get. In Japan, it's they're completely different than our Italian Western honeybees, which, by the way, aren't even native to the U.S. They're European <laughs> honeybees. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to hey, Google some of this and like uh, Italian bees and... What? Italian bees. And I think most of the ones I have in my yard are Italians and Russians. It's what I've been doing. I haven't bought bees for the last three years. I catch swarms and I split my colonies to grow them. Oh. And from what I can observe, they're Italians. They're, they've got very solid butts. <laughs> <laughs> But they're, I mean, as far as temperament goes, when I go to inspect them, they're not like, I mean, they can get testy. Try not to cuss, I promise Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but they do, I mean, and you, the more you can learn to slow down the better you're going to do inspecting them, I think. Okay. Let's see. Can you talk about how bees have photo photographic memory? I just learned that recently during research now. I thought that was a fascinating, I thought that was fascinating. Would love to hear you your take on it. Gosh, why am I struggling? <laughs> <laughs> it's still kind of early to after 10. And the coffee's <laughs> running low. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, I do know that a bee's brain is about the size of a sesame seed. Mm. And that in itself is amazing. And have a great day, Mike. I'm glad you were able to stop in with us. <clears throat> Excuse me. But bee, a honeybee will recognize your face and it won't forget for the life of it, for the lifetime. So, and why that goes for wasps and hornets too. They will remember your face. If you've ever had an encounter with a hornet and it comes back after you the next day, that's why they remember wow. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't forget a face. They, okay. don't, they don't forget a face. Oh, welcome in, boss lady. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bypass you. Let me see. Honey was found buried with the pharaohs and uh, was still good. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> want to try it either, but yeah, it's still, it wouldn't spoil. Really? Uh, you eventually end up. Uh... Mutts. Yeah, I have Hoosier mutts. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Let's see. What else we got up in here? So around 1045, if somebody could please drop in Dale's link so we can make sure we head over there. See what she's talking about. Yes. And I will rewarm my coffee for that one. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, it is so hard for me to see them as calming when they are trying to attack you. Well, and they see, they don't always try to attack you when you can sneak up on them, which mm -hmm. I don't really think you can because they have their sense of smell is off the charts. It's better than a dog can smell. And I think they smell you coming. 
<laughs> okay, oh, that's what Sunshine saying. They're calm, and uh, the person didn't even get stung. Not even wearing a suit. I've seen those before. Well, and it, they might say that they don't get stung, but they get stung. <laughs> I've tried it without the. It's it, and it's a personal preference. I mean, sometimes in some areas, it is simply too hot to wear the suit. <laughs> yeah. And Grammy Lisa <laughs> should tell you that one. She's down there in Alabama where it is hot. <laughs> and I know um, one of my favorite beekeepers, the dirt rooster, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> mm. He doesn't wear a suit sometimes because he's in it's Mississippi hot. where it's hot. So, well, okay. Uh, Mike said uh, in Minnesota said he suggests that you get a mentor in your area um, with years under their belt. So I didn't <laughs> have one. I guess I kind of start. It was like self-taught, but I I learned from. I guess you'd say the YouTube community of beekeepers. They're all my mentors, and mm -hmm. I appreciate every one of them. <laughs> awesome. And the the people at the meetings and. You know, when you can have a one-on-one -on -one mentor, it's really good. I'm always available to encourage anyone in this. And whatever question I am able to answer, I will. And my email is sarah at sarahshappyhives.com. Oh, yeah. And I have all your information, your website and everything in the description. So seeing how you've been stung a couple of times, it doesn't even hurt you anymore. It doesn't bother you. It or... does. It still oh. hurts. Okay. It, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be immune to it by now. Like, ah. uh, well, I mean, I I expect it. I know what's coming, but it still hurts. It's about thirty seconds of oh, that's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> and then I swell a little bit in places more, some places more than others. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I haven't had the anaphylactic reaction, although I do pay close attention to that. When I do get stung, I watch for my my body. How is it reacting? Are we okay? Take oh. the Benadryl. <laughs> wow. So I do. I take Benadryl when I get stung and that helps. Okay. So a uh, boss lady wants to know about like the Russian and Italian bees. So how they just bring them over here to our land? I guess so. Well, and I'm not completely sure how that happened but i know they brought bees over here when they started colonizing and whatever um all of that is in the book not in my brain <laughs> so <laughs> hey from family matters oh now i can't unsee yeah. that oh frank <laughs> <laughs> Bees are always around me, landing on me, flying really close to me, even when I uh, am trying to get away from them. But I've learned to stay calm and act as if they are not there. Well, and look, bees are curious. They just want to know, are you a flower? What, are you a good flower? <laughs> <laughs> and they do. They get into little spaces and look, they're just curious. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> Reverend Terminator said a bee might have mistaken me for Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't seen that yet, the new beekeeper movie, but I, that's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, they remember my back because I flee. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm, I'm sorry, but I squash on sight wasps and hornets and <laughs> oh so okay this is interesting so the smell of a sting a sting has a smell they it smells uh very citrusy sometimes it can smell like bananas really but yeah the it's um when you get a lot in the air you'll know it it's a very it's a strong smell hmm. and you also have their they have a gland called Nazanoff gland, which it, it emits a, another smell that tells everybody it's safe to come here. Come on in. It's like dropping the link. You know, that's that's what bees do with their smell. They drop all the links. 
I did not know that. Huh, now I want, I, look, I, I want to, but I don't want to get stung by a bee. I just want to see the scent. It is, it's a different smell. And, and the whole smell of everything combined out there, is, it's, uh, that's what it's calming about it. Like um, Tim McCandless in Tennessee, the B original Tim mm -hmm. there, he, uh, he said it's the smell of a healthy hive that helped him to want to do better, be better, recover, heal. It's, it is a very healing smell. Okay, healing. Hmm. Russell says hi to everyone. I believe he's on your side of the tracks. It's Russell. Is that Russell Amon? Yep. Hi, Russell Amon. Good to see you. I love honey, but more power to the beekeepers. It's not for me. Well, and that's why we need people to support beekeepers. Support your local beekeeper. <laughs> The best time to start a new hive is about right now is when you really need to, there's a lot of places that are already sold out because what happens is, and I'm not familiar with that process. I'm not a business yet, yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't put together the packages. That's for somebody else to do too. Okay. Um, so what do you have on your website? I have, um, do you just, package it and I don't do that yet. Oh, okay. I may, I may not ever do that from my apiary. I'm not sure. I'm still, there's still a lot of things I'm feeling out. You know, do I want to do it like that? Do I want to do yeah. that? I don't, cause there's things I don't have to do, you know, mm. cause this, the, the beekeeping thing. And maybe it's a little selfish, but it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Make sure I don't miss anybody. Jade's, well, J3GS Farm, I call him Jade, says don't wear cologne and perfumes around the uh, bees. Pre Absolutely, that's correct. Welcome in. Don't hurt the harvest and pre retirement days. There we go. Okay. So it's not a good idea to have on. Is that yeah, don't, you don't want to be smelly. Mm. And my husband wears Stetson cologne and he's been stung more than me because of it. <laughs> <laughs> How is B withdrawal? Can you take a peek? B withdrawal? That's when you can't get into your colony. <laughs> oh, okay. And you want to go look, but it's too cold to look. If, if you open the colony when it's too cold, you could kill the whole colony by oh. chilling the brood and it's so you you have to be careful and really really keep one eye on the weather and the other on what's blooming and it's a dance i guess mm. okay didn't know that either i'm, I'm learning i'm like <laughs> okay it sounds like living a full life is checking out everybody uh, do some watch some research videos, get a mentor, and the journey begins. Welcome in Shantiremint. Jerry Seinfeld had that voice of a bee. Yes, and that bee movie, I'm sorry, was not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bee and I are doing good. We'll go into the hives tomorrow. That'll be a good day. <laughs> Wesley just watched the movie last night. Uh, ladybugs do that to me all, all around me and all over me. Hmm. Steve Obama. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like when it is too. Don't ask me how I know. Okay, I won't ask. I will not ask. <laughs> <clears throat> Best time of year to start a new hive. That's in the spring. In the spring, uh, how many box? Uh, how many bee boxes can set beside each other? Well, and that's a different because some bees don't like other bees, and mm. they'll. I had two at my first, my first host yard. Mm. I had them right next to each other, and two years in a row, the one would rob out the other. So I took i just didn't put the one back <laughs> i left that one by itself because it obviously didn't want company 
Welcome but you in, learn, baby. and it's it's something that takes time. It's not something you're going to rush. If you do rush it, it you're going to get stung. And there went my train of thought. <laughs> you know, it happens to me too. I'm just like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, David Corey, and welcome in Everyday Life. OCD is chick. We're talking to Sarah's Happy Hives. All her information is down below. We're talking to her community as well. They're giving us ideas and suggestions, telling us all types of things about the bees and the colonies and tools. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when we get together like this and, you know, in the different beekeepers chats, we share ideas and we try things. And, you know, if it doesn't work, we say, oh, well, that didn't work for me, but it could work for somebody else. I mean, what I do in Indiana somebody doing in canada isn't gonna do you know what i mean right uh, let me see yeah uh, had a break in not really have to run oh well, well it was nice talking to you uh no really have to run blessings okay blessings to you as well have a great day mike now we got to figure out how we're gonna give this away to oh yeah 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 to how how would you like to do it? Or do you have like a a wheel that you spin? Oh, okay. Uh, give me a moment. I can set that up. I, we I put can. everybody put everybody in the chat and do like you know the price is right. Only there's no price. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to keep talking about the bees for us, so give me a minute to. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. Uh, well, and young Riaz. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a, a comment here in the in the chat. And I'm sorry if I missed somebody. I want to say hi to everybody. I don't want anybody to feel left out. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm setting it up now back here behind the scenes. What should but the yeah. okay? I have like, everybody uh, put in a word. Uh, what what should the word be? Bees or something or or honey? Okay, like the word honey, honey, honey. There we go. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. H O N E Y. Last time I checked, that's how it's spelled. <laughs> now let me share it over here on this screen over here. Uh, Is that the one? Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Honey, honey. <laughs> Share screen. Um, hey, Queen, unbiased LLC. <laughs> there we Everyday go. life of an OCD ish chick. I relate to that OCD ish. Okay, there we go. There you go, guys. You put in the word honey, you'll be entered in the drawing. For some of that honey down there. <laughs> this jar of creamed honey. The last of the 2023 honey. <laughs> <laughs> Does the who hive beat the three feet, three mile rule? I don't know. I don't know. I guess, well, in, in beekeeping, the three feet, three mile, if you want to move them, you have to either move them three feet or three miles. Otherwise, they'll just leave. I, but the I, Who and, and Doctor Who is a whole other show. It's a, a British show about a Time Lord in a box called a TARDIS. And in the TARDIS is bigger on the inside. Where's so my Whovians in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to apologize. We have over 50 people in here. So I set the StreamYard giveaway tool over here on my channel so okay you, everybody on my channel go to miss t's channel if i'm you sorry <laughs> There's the no way I, could, I could do it on both of our streams but please know i will have another giveaway when i get to a thousand subscribers and this is the liquid honey the liquid honey okay. that will be given away at the thousand subscriber 
bees recognize their owner's voice? Now, I'm not sure because bees don't have ears. <laughs> but I'm, I think maybe, and they recognize me. I mean, I'd like to think they do. Umbaya <laughs> <laughs> uh, says she came in just in time for the win. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, and I do apologize again. Um, I had no way of putting the, the giveaway tool on both of our uh, streams. So I, it's just over here on Miss T with the T, me type in honey. I don't want hey, to simply Sarah. I seen some of your people putting in honey and it's not going to work over there. Yeah, you got to come to Miss T's channel. Uh, if Ms. I T, Miss T. Okay, if, he, if Reverend Turner, he's in Norway. So he said if he wins, Jay Jordan gets his prize. Well, okay. and this is for U.S. only. I apologize <laughs> for. Uh, I saw that unbiased. I see. I'm not the only one. Oh, coming in for the win. Okay. I'm trying to get your right people. On, right on. <laughs> giving pe your people on your side time to come over here to get into the drawing if they are interested. Uh, Michelle, you don't have to put in hashtag. Just put in the word honey. She's making sure, though. She, <laughs> it, it, it gonna count. <laughs> Kodiak color uh, coordinate hives. Now, Lee's hives, he is... Oh, okay. He's got some really neat hives. He keeps them very neat and orderly. He's a good beekeeper. <laughs> There's Sourwood Branch Bee Farm. Hello, hello. Don't Season hurt the harvest. Unbiased LLC. Sunshine is over in Texas screaming like I am playing the game show. A game show. Ah! <laughs> oh, you already gave some people your gold, honey, before? I have. <clears throat> Lee bought my gold, honey. He's the first one that bought the first jar. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, Shantae Leveled Up. We are just doing a giveaway for some creamed honey. So if you're interested, type in the word honey. Uh, it's a four-ounce jar. Mm -hmm. I lovingly put it in there myself. Blessings on it. Oh, it's made with love. Uh, I say? You're killing me. <laughs> I'm showing my ads. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chat's flowing once again. I guess we'll do the actual drawing at 1045. So we'll give you guys four more minutes. We have 53 awesome people in four here. Four more minutes. What can we talk about in four minutes? <laughs> what, did I for, what did I forget to say? Hmm. It's okay. a lot. We, well, I mean. Welcome in, Alonzo. And somebody said, my Isha's here. Country Hustle. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so, okay, just to recap, if you guys have honey that has crystallized, it is still good. Do not throw that honey away. And queen rearing, Lisa, thank you for reminding me about that. Mine, my um, queen rearing experience from last year kind of fizzled out. I had them where they... They did the one part well, but then the other part, it just didn't happen to raise some queens. But I'm going to try again this year. Okay, and there's, so there's a lot. Um, it's not hard. It's just there's a lot involved and there's a, a, a certain amount of time you have to do it in. And they only do it a certain time of the year, you know, and so it's you. It, it's almost like surfing where you got to catch the wave just right. But then sometimes I feel like it's double Dutch and I can't even get in there. You know, what I mean? if you've ever done the double Dutch jump rope, I still don't know how to double Dutch. I'm and you try to get it. At, and I think I can jump in for like three jumps and that's it. Yeah. I, I, sometimes yeah. it's like that. Jake <laughs> uh, said, have, have you talked about the different types of hives? I heard you talking about the horizontal hive. Yeah, there we. I I run Langstroth type hives in my apiary. There are uh, Ware hives, top bar hives, horizontal hives, 
nucleus colonies, mating nukes. I mean, there's the, it's a whole bunch of stuff to explore. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I call it a journey because there's this isn't just a one and done kind of a thing. Right. I seen a question here. Uh, somebody asked, "How big do the hives get?" How and that, it's it can. I've had, in terms of the number of boxes, and I run there's deep and medium. That's awesome. Ricky sold out at the conference. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> And now I'm back trying to figure out what was I talking about again? Well, how big the hives get. Okay, in terms of boxes, you got deep and medium. And the medium is where we usually collect the honey. I usually collect it. <laughs> but I've had them about five, six boxes high. Mm -hmm. So they can grow very big. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in Sourwood. And they said Sourwood said bookkeeping is like riding a bicycle, except the bike is on fire. Everything, Everything is on is fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes it can be like that. That is funny. <laughs> well, and there was it. I'm trying to think because uh, I'm losing track of the years. I'm in my fifth year already. But one of the years, um, this spring, I had four swarms happen all at once in my backyard. Mm -hmm. And my husband said, what did you pray for? I said, this is what I pray for. <laughs> More bees. Yeah. Right. Very right, Sarah. I mean, uh, sour. <laughs> I hope you're, uh, you're one good auntie. Oh, this is about that. It's about that time. Oh, ready? here we go. <laughs> now, the winner, you have to email me your address. I'm Sarah, S-A-R-A. -A. My parents couldn't afford the H, so I had to get my own. <laughs> Sarah at happyhives.com. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Who will be the winner? Hey, Bob. There's Bob. Welcome in. Ooh, sweet thumb. thumb. All right, sweet thumb. Email me your address and I will get this out to you. Awesome, awesome. Is there a time limit or just whenever they uh some people be like, well, within 24 hours or within 24 hours, but I think I'll see within the next few minutes because this is creamed honey we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. So if, if somebody is pleased is able to drop Andale Homestead's link. Uh, we're going to go over there in about 15 minutes. Uh, if you guys have some more questions, like I said, we have 15 more minutes with Miss Sarah, Happy Hives. And All feel free to email me. I do respond. I And as you notice on my YouTube channel, I do pay attention to comments there. Okay. I still have... Um, what was I about? Look, I lost my train of thought. What was I about to say? I don't know. <laughs> Sweet Thumb Mississippi said, I, that's what I'm talking about. Hold on, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he said, I'm not past. <laughs> I lost the, hello, where did Miss T go? Hey, old fart gaming. Miss T left me alone. <laughs> Let's see. Somebody wanted to see the books again. So I've got the Beekeeper's Bible. Okay, I kicked, I got so excited, I kicked my own stuff out. <gasps> Woo, girl, I kept, it, I kept it going for you. <laughs> and then I was like, come on, my internet is going so slow. <laughs> oh, you didn't eat in front of your computer after midnight, did you? No. Okay, because if you eat in front of your computer after the gremlins get in there. <laughs> uh, I am known to nibble on something uh, every now and then. Oh, Somebody the wanted to see the books again. So, okay. The ABC XYZ of B culture. 
the beekeeper's bible oh the queen spotting okay okay and of course farmer's almanac <laughs> <laughs> every good gardener has that book i'm trying to think like what else do we have to say okay so of old fart gaming goes live today at 1 30 p.m central standard time so after we watch uh and Dale, we used to go over there uh unbiased are you pieces of april she's still going live today uh to talk more about the kickback 2024 that's happening uh in needville texas uh, thank you so much for dropping uh aunt dale's link come on computer there we go so there's aunt dale's link if anybody needs it shawnee 2003 welcome in hello uh, i'll be making some long lame straw now don't hurt the high don't hurt the harvest asked if i had any royal jelly yet and no i have not but that's in my plans but i don't say my plans too loud because that's the best way to hit god to laugh at you <laughs> hey albert hey albert congratulations sweet thumb it's everybody there we go. Sarah. There it is. Royal jelly. Mm. Yeah, royal jelly is a what the nurse bees give specifically to bur the what they want to be a queen bee. So royal jelly is what makes a queen bee. And you can harvest it and put it in lotion. Mm. And there's Tracy, Three Oaks Honey Farm. Okay, we still have over 50 people in here. I'm just like trying to catch up. Uh, okay, also, uh, our chat runneth over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, unbiased LL to the C is saying she will be live today at 3 30. Okay, so let's talk about the lineup. Aunt Dale's about to go live next. Um, old fart gaming and then unbiased to the LLC. I will do my best to be in there. <laughs> I got I to gotta rewarm my coffee, though. I can't take another drink. It's cold. <laughs> Are you uh, the type that drinks coffee like all day? Well, until noon. And then I switch to water because mm. my eye doctor told me I need more water. Mm. Yeah, some he people could are see here. when he did my exam, he could see in my eyes. He said a big ten dollar word, but I can't remember what he said. He just <laughs> said drink more water. There are a lot of beekeepers in Texas. Um, there's Philip at RTX Honeybees. There's um come on, brain, you know more than one Texas <laughs> beekeeper. See, that's the thing with live stream, it's like right there now. Right, come on. I know there's Texas and Blaine. Of course, Blaine, the Texas beekeeper. I know there are more. <laughs> I know, I know, girl. I know. Planning to start harvesting royal jelly also. I see that was one of the things. Um, because royal jelly is health, it's good for your health. And I want to start incorporating that in my <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh far gaming can you please drop your link so the people can go to your live stream today yes uh, any bq okay let's start tennessee and tennessee go. i know cayman reynolds i know um tim be original tim i know there's a lot more in tennessee too <laughs> <laughs> oh come on i know there's johnny and um yeah my brain just froze oh, <laughs> where'd it go <laughs> yeah. that's okay you, you threw out a couple that was helpful yes let me see uh Rose yes the I fountain of youth gus michelle yep gus gus mitchell thank you bob <laughs> i said michelle <laughs> Wow, there okay. Illinois. Illinois. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I know uh there's a big YouTuber 
David Burns. He's in Illinois. I'm thinking there's a, a beekeeper named Kimberly from Illinois. I'm trying to remember all the chats I've been in at once. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and that, I know there's a lot of Michigan beekeepers, Ohio beekeepers. Look at that um, big brain of knowledge over there. Nature's Image Farm and uh, Castle Hives, Brian over there. They do a live stream, Bruce, Greg, and Brian. Bruce is where I got the, the comb honey from, the Ross Round. And um, Brian and Greg are in Ohio. You are, you are good because like, I would be like, uh, I don't know. Send me an email and I'll get <laughs> uh, Thank you so much, OCD, for dropping her link. And unbiased, yes, I'm actually uh, almost there at 3.76. Thank Woo! you. I look forward to seeing you in April and in May. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm looking up flights to go to Texas. Uh, let me see, is that it? Okay. I have a cousin in Texas. <laughs> In Texas, Texas, Baytown, A Town, Austin, Baytown, Texas. Oh, Baytown, okay. Baytown. Yeah, I've been to Texas one time, it was cool. It's hot. I've not yet been to Texas, but my husband has. Oh, Lisa, Louisiana has the best beekeepers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, boss lady got her 3K. Yes, congratulations, 3K. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to stick with Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana in the house. In the house. Oh, well, we still got five minutes for Aunt Dale Goes Live. So what else would you like to... Uh... Well, is there any last minute things anybody wants to add to, Ooh. take away from? I've just been so, I'm so glad. Thank you for inviting me today. I've been so excited all weekend. <laughs> uh, do you remember Lee? Uh, what it is, what's it called? And then I want to ask you, do you, you've been on a lot of live streams to be kind of newish around here. Do you plan on? I haven't, I haven't gone live yet, but it's something I plan on doing. And like I, I've got my, my oh. studio set up here. This is my lighthouse. My dad made this lighthouse over oh. at um, the stream team. That's Bruce, Brian and, Brian and Greg. They say, be the lighthouse, which is, you know, let your light shine. Talk about bees. Get people <laughs> enthusiastic, you know, encourage them. So there's my be the lighthouse. And this bee over here is a uh, needle work from one of my friends in Michigan. So okay, that's cool. Let me see. Jake said he's gonna be visiting a lot of beekeepers in this chat. Yes, yes. And the Tuesday night live stream tonight at eight is the Tuesday night live stream. The no life beekeeper stream where we get crazy too, y'all. <laughs> no oh Lord. I, let me let me screenshot that because I want to see y'all get crazy too. Now wait a minute. <laughs> oh man, when you first came into my live when we were talking with Rich, I was like, okay, everybody, be on your best behavior. We don't want to scare her off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scare me. I'm a beekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> no life. When does no life go live? That's tonight at eight. Eight PM Eastern. Yep. Our time? Is it Eastern? Bob and Lee, they're in the chat there. Sawmill, okay. Sawmill Charlie, he's in uh, Maryland, I believe. He does the single brood chamber management. Mm. What's up? Water, carbs, protein, healthy fats, uh, B vitamins, trace minerals. Wow, okay, okay, old fart. Yeah. He has the whole rundown over there. A lot of people yeah. use it on anti aging supplements well let me find some of that that's what I've, I've been trying to learn how to do it <laughs> i was disappointed <laughs> last year i didn't show it though i didn't complain because complaining is just a waste of time and i want to figure out how to do this <laughs> <laughs> so after this live you should be well over 400 because unbiased llc says she also went to your channel to uh connect with you as well oh thank you everyone so much uh, Boss lady says she needs to learn. Good morning, Rachel. See, yes, it's how you say that word again? Co 
Kodiak oh, RVs. Yeah. It's on Lee's channel tonight. It'll be on. It was on Bob's last week, so his will be next week. They alternate their lives. Oh, They've been okay. doing them for a couple years now, and it's it's um. I kind of found them on accident, you know. Okay, so on uh, Kodiak's channel tonight, and then Unbiased said, well, when we started this live stream, you was at 398. Yeah, <laughs> first of all. So we you're at 416. You gained, like, what, 18 subscribers? <laughs> we're, cool. we're getting it, y'all. Oh, you you are so dear to my wow. heart. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the people who did connect with her, please watch a video so it can stick. You know how YouTube is. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome thank you unbiased for letting us know uh, gun yes, line chat you, are they you. also tonight the gun lines um they go sunday night at eight and they do fellowship we where we talk about bees and jesus <laughs> bees and jesus yes <laughs> we wouldn't have bees without jesus now okay that's true uh, you were just successful at finding another way it does not work. Okay. That's right, old fart gaming. Uh, absolutely. Okay. 410 is still good, too. He, he said he's seeing 410. So you got to check and let us know. Uh, can somebody please drop Sarah's link? I have it in the description, but while we're all still here and there's 50 people in here, can somebody please drop Sarah's link again so we can uh, check her out? Because Rooster's wanting to know. Old fart gaming's want to know. And I do, when I see that you subscribe, I'll go subscribe to your channel too. So it's, oh. I reciprocate. <laughs> Put four videos and for watching later. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Fish and fire. Also subscribe. Never just connect. YouTube removes it. Yes. True, true, true. Everybody's connected. I don't want to leave because everybody's still connecting. <laughs> Can somebody please drop uh, happy hives again before we uh, head over there to... Uh, One more time, and then we're going to go talk with Miss Ann Dale. Aunt Dale. Aunt Dale. You're going to have me calling her Aunt Dale now. <laughs> <laughs> there she we is go. like an auntie, though. I, I like her videos. She has a very... Soothing voice. She is so dear to my heart. <laughs> she. Uh, I met her a couple times. She, uh, when I first heard her voice, I was like, is that Paula Dean? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for dropping her uh, link. You guys, please feel free to check her out. And without further ado, okay, I'm sorry. Before we leave out again, can somebody please drop Aunt Dale's link for the people who are not familiar with Aunt Dale, Hom Aunt Dale Homestead. Not Aunt, it's my auntie. <laughs> thank you everyone who subscribed today thank you thank you yeah. arigato gozaimasu <laughs> oh <laughs> okay i'm just looking for somebody to drop aunt dale and then we're really gonna be out okay 1101 enjoy thank you everyone have a great day thank we'll you see Kathleen. you on the flip side See you on the flip side. Thank you again for coming to hang out with us. I appreciate I was so happy to. And I'm I'm glad we're friends. i you are so dear to my heart. Oh wow, hold on. Because big everybody they're saying 419. Okay. Thank thank everybody in the community. <laughs> Look, I'm giving y'all a big hug. Okay, group hug, group hug. So tune in <laughs> tomorrow. We're gonna be doing community chat. So if you guys have questions on growing your channel, connecting with other people in this live stream. Feel free to join us. I don't want to take up any more time. Uh, I will uh, email you and talk more to you later about uh, us hanging out. We'll definitely get together. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? Okay. I think we're good. So, <laughs> All right. We'll see you over Andales. See you over Andales, everybody. Thank you again. 